Hey everyone, how are you? Welcome to Story Time with Miss Alicia, yours truly. I hope you guys are doing awesome and staying safe and washing those hands. I saw a baby shark video um, the other day. Um, it was like, wash your hands, do, 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 wash your hands, do, do. Lucas loved it. Have you guys seen that video? It's really good. You should check it out if you haven't seen it. Um, today we're going to read Russell the Sheep. Have you guys ever met a sheep named Russell? Me neither. Uh, what other animal do you see on this book? You see a frog? Yeah. All right, this book is by Rob Scotton. All right, let's get started. Here's the title page, Russell the Sheep. Look at that long hat. It's a really long hat. All right, let's see if you can see the pictures. Russell the sheep lived in Frog's Bottom Field. Frog's Bottom Field, maybe that's why there's a frog on the cover. Do you see a little frog in the picture? Yeah. At the end of a long, busy day, Night fell and the sheep got ready for bed. Soon all was quiet, except for Russell. No matter how hard he tried, Russell could not fall asleep. Has that ever happened to you before? You lay in bed and you just can't go to sleep. Poor Russell can't fall asleep. Maybe if it were really dark, he thought, I'd be able to sleep. But the really dark really scared him. Perhaps I'm too hot, he thought. So, like, he took, took off his wool. And he says, perhaps I'm not. He looks cold. Russell pulled up a pillow. The pillow. How do you use but the pillow hopped away, hopping mad. <laughs> that's not a pillow, that's a frog. Maybe I need a better place to sleep, he decided, and he went for a walk. It's a good idea to try. Russell spied the trunk of the rusty car. It was too cramped. He tried the hollow of a tree, but it was too creepy. Russell even tried sleeping on a branch, but it was too crowded. What's a sheep to do? How's he going to get to sleep? Russell thought he would never get to sleep, but then he had a brilliant idea. What if he tried to count things that would make him fall asleep? Hmm, counting. Russell counted his feet. One, two, three, four. Not tired. Hmm. I guess I need more feet, he said. What's next? The stars. Russell counted each and every one. One, two, three, four, five, six hundred, million, billion, and ten. And Russell was wide awake. He counted them again. Six hundred, million, billion, and ten. Still wide awake. Russell thought very hard. In fact, he thought so hard, his hat went ziggy-zaggy. I know. I'll count sheep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Still awake, he said inside, then Russell realized he'd forgotten to count one very important little sheep. Himself. Ten. Russell felt a tickle, and then a twitch, and then... <sighs> sound asleep. By now it was morning, and all the other sheep in the field began to get ready for the new day. Soon, everyone was up. Everyone, that is, except 
for Russell, who was still sleeping. <laughs> e -N. So what kind of things do you like to do when you can't fall asleep? I actually try counting too. Um, it seems to help me fall asleep. All right, I hope you enjoyed the book, Russell the Sheep. Hope you guys stay safe and wash your hands. Do, 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 do. Wash your hands. Do, 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 do. Wash your hands. <laughs> All right, bye guys.